Hey everyone, welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Today's medication is called lidocaine, and lidocaine's brand name is xylocaine. So lidocaine falls under the class of class 1 antidysrhythmics or class 1B antidysrhythmics. It's also a local anesthetic. Your mechanism of action is that it blocks the sodium channels, which decreases myocardial excitability and conduction velocity. Your indications are going to be ventricular fibrillation, pulseless ventricular tachycardia, management of wide complex tachycardia, or wide complex tachycardia not responding to other treatments. The indications are very similar to that of amiodarone. And as always, before we go into dosages, please abide by your local protocol and follow your scope of practice. Um, all scopes and protocol vary, so just make sure you're following yours. Your dose for pulseless VTAC and VFib is going to be one to one and a half milligrams per kilogram IV or IO. And if it continues, it will be 0.5 to 0.75 milligrams per kilogram every three to five minutes, up to three milligrams total. Your pediatric dose is going to be one milligram per kilogram. So if we're talking about sustained VTAC, the dose is going to be the same as the loading dose for VFib and, and pulseless VTAC, which is one to one and a half milligrams per kilogram IV or IO. And then you want to start an infusion of lidocaine if you get conversion with those first doses. Your infusion, typically it's supplied in a one gram in 250 ml bag or two grams in 500 ml bag, meaning that it's about four milligrams per milliliter. Not about, it is four grams per milliliter. And it's going to be administered at two to four milligrams per minute. Your local anesthetic is 40 milligrams over two minutes. Your pediatric dose for the local anesthetic use is going to be 0.5 milligrams per kilogram up to 40 milligrams, not to exceed that over two minutes. Okay, some contraindications are going to be cardiogenic shock, flushing, pulmonary edema, Adams-Stokes syndrome, CHF, WPW, uh, second and third degree heart blocks. Your side effects that you can expect to see possibly are going to be anxiety, drowsiness, confusion, seizures, other dysrhythmias, respiratory arrest, hypotension, bradycardia, cardiac arrest, different AV blocks, and nausea and vomiting. Your drug interactions is that it can potentiate cardiac depression when used with these drugs. A few side notes about lidocaine. So lidocaine in exceedingly high doses can cause death and coma. So we have to be very aware of that and abide by what your protocol says because you can, especially in the elderly and those in renal and hepatic failure, you have to be super careful because you can put them into a coma that they may never wake up from. All right, it can be administered through the ET tube. I did not include this dose. It's not super common, but it has to be two and a half times greater than the bolus dose. Your peak effect is typically between five to 10 minutes. Also, what I was saying a minute ago, patients over 70 years of age or patients with hepatic or renal failure, the loading dose is the same, but the maintenance infusion is given at half of the normal rate. So just be aware of this whenever you're administering it. As always, remember to abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. This video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of local protocol or formal education. Before I let you go, I just just wanted to let everybody know that I am taking suggestions on future Medication Mondays. So if you have some, make sure to send them in. All right, I'll see you next Monday. Bye.